Morris. Everyone's fingerprints on the ball this trip down, and Paul George knocks down the three. Two, two. Little drive. Three, four, five, six, and a three. Leonard going against Doncic, who does well to hold his ground. George in the paint where he's done most of his damage in this series and continues. He gets his first bucket tonight. Bear hug rebound for a moment, corralled by Paul George. The Clippers come out of the scrum with it. And now George back the other way, displays the handle, rises for three, and knocks it down. What a sequence for Paul George. He has eight. George gets his defender in his back pocket, waltzes to the cup, and lays it in. Thought for a moment we'd see an and one. There was a whistle. Doncic and Paul George here. Watch, he keeps the guy on his side, throws a little shoulder into him, gets hit, no call, but converts. Batum has been off the charts incredible in this first half. George feeling good, knocks it down, and the Clippers are running on all cylinders. They lead by 13 under nine to play in the half. You see affecting Brunson, and then Paul George seems to have his stroke back. He's trailed four to nothing. This is their largest lead of the game. Paul George, a step away three. It's good, and Dallas has some problem, perhaps. Knock on wood, the Mavericks coming back down to earth after a record-setting three games. Leonard knocks down the three. He is six for six tonight. He's out in front by 21. Jackson, another three. And the same result, and that, my friends, puts the candles on the cake. Reggie, after he shoots this one, not one hand down with the three, but both hands down. Uh, yeah, I mean, Nick can uh, guard multiple positions. Um, and, uh, you know, he just, uh, he makes us a lot more quicker. Um, you know, and, and, you know, we're able to just use our length, our quickness, our speed. Um, and then we're, we're just, you know, flying. You know, we're flying across that defensive end, um, making plays and helping each other out. And so, uh, you know, he, he takes a lot of, uh, you know, he, the, a lot of the, the boat, um, and a lot of, you know, wasted energy, um, you know, myself or Kawhi having to guard him the whole game, you know, uh, Nick steps up and he takes the matchup as well. So, um, it's just great. You know, we get a breathe on the other end at, at, at some times. Um, I mean, it was fun. Um, it's, it's, it's fun playing in these environments. Um, this is, you know, it's what playoff basketball is about. It's been missed so much. Um, from last year to, you know, coming into this season to, you know, now we're up to this point where um, or you're starting to see arenas be at full capacity. So, um, you know, it's, 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 it's awesome to play in these environments. Um, what have you seen in Kawhi that has, like, he's kind of maybe set the tone for the team, like, and maybe, you know, fire you up and you fire him up? How have you guys complimented each other? And what have you seen from Kawhi leadership-wise that's also maybe helped you lead this team too? Um, I mean, I, I think we both, you know, just have done a great job just complimenting each other. Um, you know, he's, he's been all out driving, attacking, putting pressure on, um, you know, their, their bigs at the rim and, um, you know, myself as well. You know, when he, when he needs a break, he needs a breather. Um, now I'm in attack mode and, you know, uh, I'm trying to give him a break. So I think we're just doing a great job countering each other. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. You know, this is... Uh, uh, ultimately what, you know, we wanted to get to, uh, being able to share the court together and, uh, you know, do it on both ends.